India is the fourth largest automobile market and also manufacturer in the world. With this, India also has the dubious distinction of having the highest number of road accident deaths. Every year, about 150,000 people in our country get killed in road accidents. This translates to about 400 deaths every day, equivalent to two jumbo jets crashing. Government of India, as a part of its broad poverty reduction strategy, launched the Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana on the 25th of December 2000 as a centrally sponsored scheme. Till December 2019, 600,000 kilometers of rural roads have been constructed. Today, rural roads comprise more than 70% of total road network in India and are contributing to improved access and mobility for the rural population. This increases the importance of ensuring safety on rural roads. Death, disability and injury cannot be the price of mobility. Expansion and upgradation of rural roads under PMGSY and similar schemes have led to increased incomes and growth in ownership of motorized vehicles. Traffic on rural roads has also witnessed an accelerated growth. My name is Nitin Kumar Jain. Before the road was not made, it was a difficult time. Now, it has been a lot of fun. Before the road was made, तो गाड़ियाँ भी खराब होती थी, दुकानें भी कम थी, आजकल दुकानें भी ज़्यादा कर लेते हम और इनकम भी दुगनी होगी रोड बनने से। The roads are mostly single lane and the carriageway is shared both by motorised vehicles and non-motorised vehicles. High percentage of vulnerable road users face increasing risk of accidents on these roads. Probability of accidents increases greatly at the uncontrolled junctions of rural roads with major roads, requiring focused attention of design engineers. There is a serious and immediate need for instituting mitigation measures. No, 1.5 meters. We have a village ka board in the village. We have a traffic signal. We have a village in the village. We have a village in the village. और स्कूल भी जो बीच में पढ़ते हैं या लास्ट में पढ़ते हैं वहाँ स्कूल बोर्ड हम लोग लगाते हैं जिससे जो भी बच्चे वहाँ निकल रहे हैं तो वो ट्रैफिक पूरा उतना स्लोली वहाँ से क्रॉस हो ये सभी जो भी साइनेज कॉशनरी बोर्ड हम लोग लगाते हैं आईआरसी सिक्सटी सेवन के अकॉर्डिंगली लगाते हैं विद लॉन्च ऑफ पी एम जी एस वाई थ्री स्ट्रेस वुड बी लेड ऑन कंसॉलिडेशन ऑफ एग्जिस्टिंग रूरल रोड नेटवर्क गिविंग प्रायोरिटी टू मेंटेनेंस एंड सेफ्टी मेजर्स प्रधानमंत्री ग्रामीण सड़क योजना तृतीय चरण में काम कर रहे सभी इंजीनियर्स इस बात की चिंता करें कि हमारे तृतीय फेस की सड़कों में सड़क दुर्घटना का कोई भी मानव शिकार ना हो आज हम सब महसूस करते हैं कि सारे देश में सड़क हादसों को लेकर चिंता की जा रही है भारत सरकार ने इसके लिए कानून भी बनाया है यातायात के नियमों की अवहेलना यह भी सड़क दुर्घटना का कारण होती है लेकिन अनेक बार ऐसी स्थितियां भी होती हैं कि सड़क की जो बनावट है सड़क का जो डिज़ाइन है वह भी इसमें एक प्रमुख कारक होता है जब तृतीय फेज प्रधानमंत्री ग्रामीण सड़क योजना का प्रारंभ हो रहा है तो इंजीनियर से विभाग को यह अपेक्षा है कि आपकी सड़क का डीपीआर आपके द्वारा बनाया गया डीपीआर ऐसा हो जो सड़क दुर्घटना रोकने में ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा कामयाब हो सके पी एम जी एस वाई हैज रेज द एक्सपेक्टेशन लेवल्स ऑफ विलेजर्स एंड फार्मर्स विद मैकेनाइजेशन यूज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर इम्प्लीमेंट्स इज इंक्रीजिंग एक्सपोनशली Demand for better and safer rural roads is increasing and on the other hand, due to land constraints for rural roads, 
compromise on road geometrics cannot be ruled out at some locations. कई बार जो ग्रामीण ट्रैक होता है वो उतना सफिशिएंट नहीं होता कि हम उसमें अपनी रोड का निर्माण कार्य कर सकें ऐसी स्थिति में हमें गांव वालों से उनकी सहमति से जमीन लेना होती है और वो सहमति से जमीन देते भी हैं कई बार नहीं भी देते हैं ऐसी स्थिति में हमको रेवेन्यू से समा से कोऑर्डिनेशन करके उनको जमीन की अदलाबंदी का भी हमें क्लॉज है वो हम उसके लिए प्रयास करते हैं With rural economy growing and purchasing power increasing, more vehicles and more travel coupled with unsafe driving practices pose challenge of accident risks on rural roads as well. इससे पांच सात छह साल पहले ऐसा था स्थिति कि यहाँ पे कोई आवागमन नहीं रहता था, जच्चा बच्चा जो गाड़ी आती थी वो ही नहीं आती थी कुछ भी, और आज जो स्थिति है कि यहाँ पे चार गाड़ी आती है स्कूल जो शोर जाते हैं बच्चों वगैरह हैं यहाँ से पढ़ने के लिए और यहाँ से इतनी सारी सुविधा हो चुकी है वो ज़्यादा हर आदमी ने गाड़ी उठा ली है। As engineers, we need to ensure that the roads we construct are safe to you. The National Rural Infrastructure Development Agency has prepared a comprehensive rural road safety manual covering road accident data management, community participation, road safety audit, and road safety management. The manual is useful for enhancing of road safety aspects during planning, design, construction and maintenance. The training and capacity building of engineers involved in rural road construction on road safety aspects is an important aspect. Currently, NRIDA is providing training on road safety through IAHE, AITD and other STAs and PTAs to the PMGSY engineers. There are broadly four aspects of road development which need attention for accident prevention and accident reduction on rural roads. They are do's and don'ts of planning phase, must do during construction of road, must do in routine maintenance and retrospective fitting and public awareness among community and road users to follow safety norms. DPR preparation should incorporate safety improvement measures at the planning and design stage itself. The operations manual has outlined the following road safety measures for implementation. Proper design of horizontal and vertical curves. Provision of vision berms on blind curves in hill roads. Speed regulation within habitations and near school zones. Design of rural road junction with higher order roads to reduce conflict with fast moving traffic. Ramps must be provided where field paths and cattle crossings intersect the road. Provision of traffic signs and markings as per IRC codes. Arrangements for safety of workers and road users at construction sites. SQC and head of PIU shall become members of the State Road Safety Council and District Road Safety Committees respectively. During the project design phase, Transect Walk should be carried out to engage with local communities in order to understand local needs, identify hazards, locate black spots and most importantly, identify possible and locally acceptable countermeasures. आपके तो हमने नोट कर लिए जितने भी आपने सजेशन दिए लेडीज से पूछ लेते हैं जो आपके साथ पंचायत से आई हैं जैसे जी स्कूल के साथ बच्चों को आने जाने की दिक्कत होती है डंगा लगना चाहिए बाउंड्री वाल लगना चाहिए गेट लगना चाहिए बस इतनी इनपुट फ्रॉम ट्रांसेक्ट वॉक शुड बी रिकॉर्डेड एंड एड्रेस्ड इन द डीपीआर दीस डीपीआरस आर सब्जेक्ट टू अ रोड सेफ्टी ऑडिट बाय एन इंडिपेंडेंट थर्ड पार्टी मेरे पास मेंस की डीपीआरस आई हैं IRC has recently revised its manual on road safety audit and it provides a checklist for road safety audit during design stage. Safety audit at DPR stage is very important and has also been mandated by the Honorable Supreme Court for roads more than 5 km in length. Aap economy ka dhyan rakhe but not at the cost of safety. Electric poles, trees 
hand pumps and other roadside obstacles next to the road may not appear like hazards to locals who get used to them. But they may pose risk to those using the roadway occasionally. Such temporary hazards may include drying and threshing agricultural produce on the carriageway, parking on the carriageway, tying animals on the shoulders, leaving unattended animals. There is a need to identify permanent and temporary hazardous from safety angle and to institute appropriate remedial measures. Awareness in this regard should be created in local community. In spite of building safe roads with proper marking and signage, the safety also depends on how stringently the traffic rules and regulations are being followed by those who use them. This calls for continuous efforts in creating awareness among community. Such road safety awareness programs in the schools are being conducted. It has been found that the youth in the age group of 14 to 18 are the most receptive. Nukpad Nataks and folk performances were found to have better recall value. Anganwari, Asha workers and other such focus groups and staff of roadside shops and dhaba were found to learn and administer first aid better. Let us all endeavour to make rural roads safer by adopting appropriate design, by constructing the roads as per design with all safety measures and maintaining it regularly.